All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I came out here a few days ago, late in the evening, just to scout the area. Found some fish on this flat and caught quite a few fish in a short amount of time. And I figured, well, if I can put a little more time into it, I'd do even better. The difference is, it's in the morning. I don't like fishing in the morning around here because they're not running no water right now. The only reason I am is because, uh, Good chance of severe storms today, uh, around 4 o'clock this afternoon. So we're going to do the morning bite. And even though there's no flow in the river yet, see what we can pull out of this thing. Right now I'm doing a drift over this flat. A couple suspended rods. I'm pretty sure flatheads are deep on the nest. Even more so than blues. But this could get me one right here. So we're going to try this. And then I'm going to come back dragging. This YouTube life, you got to fish around the weather sometimes. Which reminds me, I forgot to clock in. Cha-ching! Now we're clocked in. Now let's just hope for a bite. I had the first bite right there. Yeah, there he goes. There's some old small fish. I'm going to sip on this coffee over here. Wait for one of these rods to go down. See if I can get this boat to drift the other direction so that sun ain't always right in the camera. It'll probably swing it right back around, but it's just meant to be the sun in the camera. I don't know why. Right now I got a good picture. We popped one on the suspended drift. Hold still, man. They're all wound up. Took about five minutes. Yeah. Now the boat's gonna drift back into the sun. Look at there. So much for that good picture. Number two. Yeah, number two. I believe we got another one right there.
Yeah, I believe that is a fish. If you're gonna be fishing, you might as well catch fish. That one released itself, and that's all right. All right, y'all, uh, we've got a few so far, but I'm seeing a lot more on the screen than's actually biting these suspended baits. So I'm gonna switch directions into the wind real quick. And I'm going to throw out some dragon weights as well. I'll keep running the suspended baits for a while. But we are going to add some dragon rigs. Dirty South dragon weight. Oh, a few foot a liter with the float floated up off the bottom. I'm going to put a pretty good size hunk on this one. On the old Dell's Tackle 12 Ot. One guy asked in a video, what does the planer board do? Uh, it says right on it, it spreads them. Gets us a wider reach with our baits. It's a little more work, but it will increase our catch rate. I'm on the clock. I need to be productive out here. You don't expect big fish during this spawn, but it's never impossible. So we throw for them anyway. When you're on the clock, like me, and especially on a day like today, spawn of the year, limited time to do this today because of the approaching weather, you've got to be a catfish catching machine. So we're now throwing everything at them here. When you don't have long, you got to come out here and get it on. Him in. Got him a mouthful. This would be a good time to eat a piece of cheese. And I might have me some, uh, Bumblebee tuna on the run. I didn't even get to finish 
smart tuna. It feels heavier than anything we've caught so far today. Yeah, that's a heavier fish there. threw these boards out there. We came out here to get it on. Yeah, yeah, that's a hat, fatter one there. Nice good head on him. Hold still now, hold still. Don't go, go crazy on me. I ain't no Richard Jean, but I'm still the catfish catching machine. I'm gonna try to finish my tuna fish. It's a little early to be eating tuna fish, but when you gotta get to work like me, sometimes you don't have time for breakfast. catching machine. On that head piece, ornery old thing. has been on there, just stuck on there for a little bit. I finally reeled them in. Little 
dinky thing on a big headpiece. All right, y'all, I'm starting to see the clouds build that way. Uh, the morning bite is tapering off a little bit as it gets to the later part of the morning. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull these suspended baits to allow me to be able to move fast. I can drag fast. I can drag real fast, over one mile an hour. So if the morning bite is wearing out, I'm now going to try to create a reaction strike. The fish isn't going to have time to think about it. Going this speed... They can cruise along there. Eh, do I want that? Do I don't want that? The bait's not trying to get away from them too fast. They're like, no, nah, I don't want that. But if that bait goes flying by them, and you don't give them a chance to think about it, uh, the only thing they can think is, if I don't get that now, it's going to be gone. So uh, let's try a fast pull. Go in the other direction, and we're going to pull these suspended baits. Well, there's the reason I wasn't getting a bite on that one. It already had one just riding along. Them little ones will get you. We'll try to get a couple more so I can meet my quota for the day. Gonna let a little more spread out on my boards. I let more line out on that center rod so my baits ain't so close to the boat. Yeah, yeah we're back in business. The bite just picked back up again as soon as we increase the speed. that whole headpiece. Once I put that net under him, he knew it was his time. It took about one minute after we increased speed to entice another one. See, we increase that speed and even the small ones are hitting on a regular basis again. They don't know what to do when it's passing through. They just smell a little stink and it don't give them time to think. They can't wait. They've got to grab that bait. We increased the speed. Now it's like musical rods out here. They all three are going. 
As soon as we pass one big enough to actually eat the thing, that rod's going to go down. Double hook rig, he got one in the back and one in the lip. He's caught twice. You know you're a catfishing machine when you can catch the same fish twice in one catch. We are flat getting it on during the spawn. him in too. Old cousin Delbert hooked some kind of eagle claw. Well y'all, I done met my quota early. I can go ahead and clock out and get me some lunch. You don't have to be Richard Jean to be a catfishing machine. You can do it too if you know what to do. Just get you a boat Make sure it floats, get you some gear, and get on out here. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.